So does a perfect suitcase that's lightweight, internationally sized, that can expand, and has a side handle, does that really exist? Well, this Dravo carry-on may check all the boxes. Welcome back to the channel. I review travel essentials, like how I would document scientific findings. I am fully aware that it is excessive and unnecessary. If you're like me who likes to have as much data points as I can have when it comes to making an online purchase, I hope you'll find this useful. So when I reviewed the July light expandable carry-ons, my major complaint was the fact that it did not have a side handle. But luckily, I got some great recommendations in my comment section. I learned about Duravo and decided decided to give it a try. I was able to get this suitcase from Dravo to try. The review is not sponsored. Getting samples allowed me to be able to use the suitcase without having to worry about returning it. This was possible because of viewers like you. Thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate you. So for those of you who love to collect data, I have updated my carry-on comparison spreadsheet so you can see how it compares to other carry-ons I already reviewed. Okay, let's get started. So Duravo Expandable International Carry-On Luggage currently is on sale for about $300 instead of the normal $375, and this is with tax. The hard shell is made from this material they branded as Flex Shell. It is a composite polymer, and based on what I have read, it seems like the material is a type of polycarbonate. Based on the way it looks in person, there's more of that weaved texture to the outer shell. It seems like one of the benefits of this flex shell material is it's very flexible and durable. I did not have the heart to do this myself, but I did capture videos of Dravo running over their suitcase with a car. So out of the box, the suitcase rolled really smoothly. The telescoping handle feels smooth and sturdy. It does have a slant to the top, which reminded me of my July light expandable carry-on, but definitely thicker. I did recently receive a comment about how uncomfortable the telescoping handle design is. I personally don't find it uncomfortable, but I definitely recommend you to test it out for yourself to make sure that the grip feels comfortable to you. The top and side lift handles have this squishy, grippy feel. It kind of made me think of the base carry-on squishy handle pad, but Duravo actually did it right. It feels durable and it feels really comfortable to hold. This suitcase is made in Indonesia. Let's take a look at the dimension. On the website, it says the width is 14 inches, height is 21.3, depth without expanded is 8.7, and width expansion is 10.7, and the weight is 5.5 pounds. When I measured it by sandwich between three hard surfaces, the width is 14.5, the height is 21.75, the depth was 9.75, and with the expansion, which is about 1.5 inches, so the total was around 11.25. And then the weight was 5.91. On the website, they said the wheels are Japanese Hinomoto wheels, but there's no marking on the wheels. So the wheel diameters are 1.75 inches. The width of the wheel is about 3 eighths per wheel, and the total is about 1.75, and the ground clearance is also 1.75 inches. When you look at the suitcase from the outside, the TSA lock is on the side of the suitcase case and there is a USB charging port built into the TSA lock panel. It is very low profile and discreet. It does not come with a power brick so you have to kind of add one of your choice. And if you see slightly above the TSA panel, there is a luggage tag loop. Both the USB charging port and the luggage tag reminded me a lot of the Tumi 19 degree carry-on that I reviewed. I do love that there is this plastic piping that covering the stitching. The telescoping handlebar are exposed. So when you open the suitcase, the interior as well as the exterior zippers are all YKK and it zips smoothly. On the inside, the Dravo suitcase has this compression panel that's made of two half panels sewn to the suitcase. I actually found it a little bit difficult to keep it out of the way when I'm packing. However, it does do a great job in terms of compressing your stuff without adding too much weight. As I mentioned, the suitcase is expandable and and what I noticed is that the part that expands 
is above the compression panel, meaning if you have more stuff to add, you have to pack them on top of the compression panel in order to kind of use the expansion part, which I thought it was odd, but it turned out to be quite functional, which I will share a little bit more when I talk about how I used the suitcase on my recent trip. When you move to the other side, uh, it is a fully zippable fabric with pockets. It has a couple small zipper pockets. One is on the outer side of the suitcase and it's meant for you to put a battery as well as an air tag, which I thought was kind of cool. The one that's attached to the center of the suitcase is meant for you to put kind of small things you don't want to lose. But I normally don't find these small pockets, especially the one in the center that helpful. And upon examination, it looks like I can probably just seam rip this pocket off completely and maybe that can shave off some weight. It comes with a dust bag as well as a luggage tag. One thing that I love to do is to open up the lining and see how it's built. You can really see the weave texture or pattern rather of this flex shell material from the inside. Something that I was really impressed with is the usage of Velcro to secure the lining to the body of the suitcase. This is actually pretty ingenious because it prevents the lining from puffing up and also allows the lining to kind of stay put and flat. So the TSA lock and the USB port are enclosed in this plastic casing that you can see. It's relatively compact and not too intrusive, but you can definitely kind of feel this plastic casing on the inside. The logo plate is attached using a screw. I personally prefer logos that are kind of embossed into the body of the suitcase and the wheelbase measured about one and one fourth of an inch. So it's not too bulky. Because the telescoping handlebars are exposed, the back side of the suitcase is one solid panel with the shape that's molded with the handlebar, measuring about one inch by three fourths of an inch. I actually think this design is also pretty ingenious because amount of the stuff that you pack will not put pressure on the telescoping handlebar, which makes going up and down more difficult. This was something that I experienced with a Remova. My way of comparing how much it fits is that I've been packing all the suitcases that I review with the same amount of stuff. And this way you can kind of see how much space it has remaining. I like to line the sides of the telescoping handlebars with clothes and put my packing cube and toiletry bag jewelry box on top of it. I also like to pack anything that I don't want to wrinkle on top of the compression panel. On the other side, I have another packing cube and a pair of bulky shoes and a pair of slippers, my hairbrush case, and a pair of extra PJ pants. It feels spacious and this is without using the expansion. So I took the packed Doravo for a spin on my rug. I was relieved that the Hinomoto wheels on Doravo did not get stuck or lift up when I rolled it across my thick rug. It was very easy to push. Although Hinomoto wheels are supposed to be the gold standards, I must say I was not really impressed with the Hinomotos on the previous suitcases that I tested. As for picking up the suitcase, I was really surprised by how easy it was to balance and pick up. Although it was about a pound heavier than July light expandable carry-on, it felt really easy to pick it up. And I think it's a combination of the comfy handles along with having a side handle as well as the positioning of the handle. I was just pleasantly surprised by how easy it felt lifting it up. As I mentioned before, I'm not very strong so I need as much of mechanical advantage as I can get. And the telescoping handle was very smooth going up and down. I had no issue with it. I mentioned earlier I actually used this suitcase recently on a five night six days trip where I packed my toiletry bag, four tops, two dresses, two sets of workout outfits, one pair of pants, one jacket, my jewelry box, my hairbrush case, as well as all the undergarments, and three pairs of shoes. I was able to fit everything without expanding it. I normally don't pack that many pairs of shoes because I was going on wine country. I wanted to look cute. So I was just really impressed how much stuff it fits. Initially, I thought it was kind of odd that the expansion part is above the compression panel. But what I found out is that I was able to lay my clothes on top of it with the expansion. But once I zip up the suitcase, I would close the expansion and almost use it as a compression. This was super useful for the 
return trip where I had a bunch of dirty clothes. And finally, something that I noticed is there are a lot of similarities between Duravo and Tumi. I already mentioned a couple things that looked really like the Tumi 19 degrees carry-on. That's normally $750. Tumi also has another line called Tegra Light that comes in around $900. It has a lot of similar features down to that weaved heart shell. Luckily, I was able to borrow one to give you a quick comparison. Here's the Tumi Tegra Light International Expandable 4 wheeled carry-on. This one is currently on sale for $225 from $900. It rolled and spins really nicely on hardwood floor. The telescope handle was very thin and not as sturdy as the Dravo, but very smooth. Because of how thin it was, it had more of a flex. This suitcase is made in Thailand and the dimension online says width is 14 inches, height is 21.8, depth not expanded is 9 inches, width expansion is 11 inches, and weight is 7.9. So when I measured it using the same method, the width is 15, height is 22, depth is 9.75. It had 2.25 inches of expansion, so total of 12 inches, and the weight is 7.9. I don't know who supplies to me for wheels. The wheel diameter is about 2 inches. I forgot to measure the wheel width. I assume it's somewhat similar to the other to me, which was measured about 0.5 per wheel and 1.5 total. And then the ground clearance is about 1.25 inches. From outside, the TSA lock is on top of the suitcase. And if you have been following my reviews, you know I'm not the biggest fan of that. This is because one of the zippers have to travel much further than the other, which makes it a little harder to open in one go. Like Doravo, this also has a dedicated spot for a luggage tag. The stitching and the reinforcement panel at the spine of the suitcase are covered by this thin plastic piping, which I actually think is a very classy look. The side handle is on the right side and to the left side. This was also the case with Tumi's 19 degree. I find it extremely hard to use for those of us who are right hand dominant. Something that I do like on this suitcase is the robust looking corner bumpers. I'm sure that has added weight to it, but it does look pretty robust. And when you open the inside, all the zippers are YKK. They're very smooth. And on the inside, one side is fully zippable with solar panel. And then the other side has this x shape compression strap all screwed into place instead of sewn with no compression panel. Unlike Duravo or Tumi 19, it does not come with charging slot, so there are no pockets for adding your own battery. I actually think this is a design upgrade from the 19 degree. If you check out my video where I reviewed seven different suitcases, you can see that the 19 degree inside of it, which just had so many little pockets, made the suitcase feel really cramped. And there are a few other other things in the suitcase I'm not really sure how to leverage. There are these loops at the top inside of the suitcase. I assume it's for hooking maybe your suit that's on a hanger. There are these plastic hooks attached to the middle of the suitcase that I can't figure out what to do with it. So let me know in the comments if you know what these things are. And one thing that I thought it was interesting is that Tumi put these plastic panels in the expansion fabric. I assume it's to provide more structure. I actually use expansion more like compression. So I'm not sure having the hard plastic panel in the expansion fabric would make how I use this suitcase more problematic. I borrowed this suitcase, so I'm not sure what accessory it came with it. For me, I don't really care about the accessories. When you open up the lining, you can see that weaved pattern clearly on the inside, just like Duravo. It also used the Velcro to secure lining to the body of the suitcase, which I really loved. The the body of this carry-on is full of screws and attachments. It will be hard to service if you need to replace wheels or something. This was my problem with the other Tumi as well. There's just so much going on. And the handlebars measured about one inch by three fourths of an inch thick. It's the same measurement as Duravo. I'm not sure why the telescoping handlebars are so thin and more flex, even though the casing is as big as Duravo. And the wheelbase measured about 
about one and three fourths of an inch tall. The Tegra was able to fit everything I packed in Drovo with room to fit a little bit more. It definitely felt less cramped than the 19 degrees. I was a little surprised to see that the top handle was attached to this pretty big and bulky base. Not sure why it needs to be this bulky. As for the rug test, the two me suitcases that I tried, the wheels are probably the best part about it. It's smooth. It does not skip. It does not lift. It's easy to steer. Overall, really solid wheels. And on the other hand, I just don't like their telescoping handle. It just feels a little flimsy. As I mentioned earlier, the side handle is on the right side, which I found it really hard to lift the suitcase. As you can see, I'm really struggling here. Maybe if you're left-handed or many of you are stronger than me, probably this is not a problem for you. So as you can see, there are a lot of similarities between Tumi and Duravo. And for $370, and this is without the discount, I would definitely pick up Duravo over Tumi any day. Duravo is lighter, it has really great handles, it's easy to lift, it rolls pretty smooth, and it fits a lot of stuff. It is just a really functional and practical suitcase. With that said, I do wish there were a few design changes with Duravo to make the suitcase even better. Number one is the compression panel. Currently, the way that it's attached, it's just a little hard to put stuff in and take stuff out. My July check suitcase has a similar compression panel system. What they did was, instead of extending the plastic insert all the way to the edge of the suitcase, the material that's attached to the side of the suitcase is made from flexible fabric so that it's easier to flip it open and stay open. And because the hard plastic is still in the middle, so it still offers the ability to compress press. And one last design change, and this is purely coming from my aesthetic preference, is that I wish the Duravo suitcase has more of that clean and sleek look. The current design has this classic hard shell suitcase feel with textures and waves, and then also the color selections are very classic. I would love to see logo that's maybe imprinted, really clean lines, and more interesting colors that can make this suitcase look very modern, chic, in addition to being functional and practical. All in all, I think the suitcase is great if you find the July Light Expandable to be a little too small. Dravo feels equally as light as the July Light Expandable. It has the side handle, compact enough that it can pass the international restrictions. And if you're thinking about buying it to me, I highly recommend to check this out instead. Well, I hope this was helpful and thank you so much for commenting and sharing your recommendations. If you want to show me your support, the best way to do it it is through comments, likes, and subscribes. Anyway, I appreciate you and I will see you next time.